Hey everybody, welcome back. This episode, we're gonna really go into detail on how to set up an inverter pre-charge circuit. Last episode, we talked about pre-charging the inverter capacitors with a resistor, just kind of holding it up. We also talked about the Ampeak uh, anti-spark cables, really cool. But what if we have a switch in line and we need to set up an inline inverter pre-charge circuit? That's what we're going over today. I know a lot of you have been asking about it, so, so here it is. Let's talk about a pre-charge circuit if you have a switch in place. We just went over, if you just have your lines and you're hooking up your battery directly to your inverter, that initial hookup to prevent that inrush into the capacitors. But what if we have a switch, right? And we shut that switch off and our camper's sitting and say it's sitting for a couple of days, these capacitors are gonna drain down. Now we don't have that protection from the smart cables to the battery, right? Everything's drained down. Now we need to figure out a way to pre-charge these capacitors uh, in line with the switch. So if we get in close here, I've got a little schematic. I've got a couple of components set up and a few of you have been asking about this. So we have our battery here. We have our inverter here. We have our positive coming out of the battery, which is this cable right here, going through our switch, which is our switch right here. And we have it going into the inverter, right out of the inverter and back to the battery right here. So this little section right here is our pre-charge circuit. And what it's composed of is a seven ohm resistor. We have a momentary switch. This isn't a momentary switch, but just think of a momentary switch as a push button switch. You push it and hold it and then you let it go and it's off. So it's always in the open position unless you're holding it. So that's what you want. Not a switch like this, but this is just for demonstration. So those are really your only two components you need. So those are your seven ohm resistor, your switch. And all you're doing is jumping this switch momentarily to get to prevent that inrush. So the power is going to come in it's going to pre-charge the inverter. Once that's done, we can turn the switch on. So essentially, this is going to wire up just like this. Here, this is going to go to this point. You're just jumping the switch, and then you'll have a little wire connecting these. It's a really simple concept. You can see here, this is what happens in the schematic when we push the switch down. The electricity comes through. It doesn't have a path, path right here. It comes around, it goes through the momentary switch that we're holding down in the closed position, through the resistor so it slows the inrush down. Capacitors are charged, the switch is still open. You can let that off. You got a few minutes before those capacitors will drain down and you shut this switch. Now, some people will say, well, what happens to this circuit after you, uh, you close the switch? Well, it's a momentary switch, so it's disconnected. And even if it wasn't a momentary switch, it was a regular switch, the electricity is gonna take that path of least resistant. It's not even gonna travel through this circuit because it has the resistor. It would just bypass if this is closed. So I hope that makes sense for everybody how the pre-charge circuit works. Um, and I'm saying, I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it and I finally got around to showing you, but it's a pretty simple concept. 